Hi everyone! It's me again, Waini Butai, and together with me is my friend, Mimi. For today's video, we will be discussing and demonstrating to you how to get the anthropometric measurements of a one-year-old. The anthropometric data reflects the general health status and the dietary adequacy of infants and toddlers. It is then used to track the growth and development of the child over time. The measurements are then recorded on a booklet or a growth record which contains different charts. This is used to assess the growth from birth up to 5 years of age. And boys and girls have different charts for weight and length which is measured starting at birth. Our materials include the weighing scale, tape measure, and the infantometer. It is important as physicians to inform the parents the process and why is it being done. For example, for our patients, we will be getting the anthropometric measurements which includes the height and the weight, the head, chest, abdomen, and arm circumferences. The weight of the patient is then measured using the infant scale. If not available, we can use the third scale. The usual weight of an infant for one year old is three times from the birth weight and it is calculated using the age times year times two plus eight or we can use the weight in grams is equal to age in months times 500 plus birth weight and for length assuming that we have the infantometer which has the steady part on the head and the movable part on the foot now, we should measure the length of the 1-year-old and the usual length for 1-year-old is 75 centimeters, and the average length gain for 9 to 12 months is 3 centimeters. Or we could use the calculation or the computation for height which includes 1 1 half times birth length. For the head circumference, it is measured over the most prominent part of the occiput and just above the supraorbital ridge. And the average growth for the head circumference for 12 months or 6 to 12 months is 0.5 cm and for 1 to 3 year old 0.25 cm. At birth, it should be at 35 cm and should be routinely monitored during the first 3 years of life. Then we move on to the chest circumference. By following the nipple line, we now measure the chest circumference. The chest circumference should be equal to the chest circumference for ages 5 months to 2 years of age. Then next is the abdominal circumference. Our landmark for the abdominal circumference is the navel. And lastly, the arm circumference, which is measured by using from the elbow to the chromion, then mark the middle, and that should be our spot for our arm circumference. After recording all the data and the growth chart, we must interpret the result and discuss with the parent. And that's it for our video for the day. I hope you learned the proper way of getting the anthropometric data of a one-year-old, getting the weight, the height, the head, chest, abdomen, and arm circumference. Thank you for watching the video. See you again next week. Bye!